Okay, I'm all healed up. Once again, level 39. It's probably possible to do this at level 30, um, but I like doing it at level, well, around here. I like to be at least level 35 when I do this, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Well, don't you look familiar. Yeah, it's Garland. Garland. The first boss of the game. 2,000 years into the future, you killed me. How do you know that? How do you know what happened in the future? But the four great forces sent me back in time, thus resurrecting me in the past? So I can resurrect somebody in the past? Uh, your time travel logic doesn't quite make sense to me. The wheel of time revolves eternally. I sent the four fiends of chaos into the future. And then they bring me back into the past? Send my future self into the past. See, I, I just don't get it. I, eh, whatever. 2,000 years from now, I will lose all memory of the past. And how to take this form. But in that past, I will be born yet again. Your life shall end here, and mine shall last forever! So here we go, into the fight with chaos. Now, what I definitely want to do is just have all four of them attack straight off the bat. Want to use flare on him? Yeah, I think he's gonna do a little bit of damage, not nearly as much as I would like. He does have some strong spells though. He has ice three to kick it off. That's not too bad, not too bad. We can handle that. Can he handle a flare? 166 damage. So he does all right against him. He does all right. Now, what I also want to do. Well, I'm here. Let's see if I have it. I don't think I do, actually. That's fine, that's fine. There's his party's defense. No. No, I don't have it. So that's... Th there went that idea. Um, I'm going to cast shield, too, just in case. And then I'm going to cast haste on Luke. So that he can go a little bit faster and start getting... Uh, I believe higher combos, yes, 15 hit combos. 215 damage on regular attack. Okay, and here we go, Invis... Ow, oh, I wanted to get Invis too, but nobody has that. That's fine, that's fine. So, he's gonna attack, you're gonna attack. Um, you're gonna heal, you're just gonna go for a straight heal on yourself. Heal everybody, and then you're gonna get another haste fall out this time so he can get some massive combos. 16 hits for 824 damage, 10 hits for 208. So finally we're getting to see some of the best spells in the game being used here. He uses a blaze. I don't remember blaze being good. Maybe he has an upgraded version and I just didn't bother to rename it. Yeah, it's definitely upgraded. Still doesn't do nearly as much damage as I, as I was afraid of. Then I believe... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and use a holy, why not? Um, and then I'm going to put a haste on Finny because she does do a bit of damage. 15 hits, 812 damage. Nice. We're getting there, we're getting there. And a holy. I like how the circle's just go around the large enemies here. Now he's stone thing. And there we go, we're all fully set up. Another 10 hit combo for 282 damage. And now she can, now Finny can attack too. And we're gonna use our last flare. Come on, flare! Use your long magic spell sequence to take out Chaos! Yes! Down he goes. Flare for the win. Oh, he's not even dissolving. He's melting. He melts. 
into the circle of death. And the whole screen goes white and then fades to black. Oh, it's pretty. I have no idea where that is. Kind of looks like Crescent Lake, but it's pretty wherever it is. The time loop was severed at last. The battle spanning 2,000 years came to an end, and peace prevailed. The light of the four crystals revived the wind, water, earth, and fire. It all began with a trivial misunderstanding, but it was enough to open Garland's heart to the darkness. I have no idea what they're talking about. His hatred swelled with the four forces of nature, and from it were born the four fiends of chaos. Evil swallowed the world, plunging all into darkness. But that is now past, the stuff of legends. Thanks to the courage and strength of the four warriors, all has been set right again. The warriors will travel in time once more. The world to which they return will be restored to its natural state. Princess Sarah, Queen Jane, and even Garland will be there, oblivious to what happened in that time-twisted dimension. But when did it all begin? The source of the chaos lay in a strand of time that looped around to connect 2,000 years. Four warriors were chosen by the very forces that had plunged the world into darkness. These four forces were the key to banishing the darkness as well. And when everything was over, the memory of the four warriors' journey to the past was destined to be lost forever. In other words, no one cared. I went to a bar. I had to. I still had to buy my own beer. What the hell? You should give me a free beer, Dick. But their deeds will survive in people's hearts as the legend. The tales will be passed down for generations to come, and nobody will believe it. Dwarves and elves, dragons, people who reach for the stars, all will cherish the tales. The warriors are returning. Traveling back from the world 2,000 years past. With the memory of their journey buried deep within their hearts, they will carry on their lives and watch over the world. Never forget, the light of this world must always be guided in the right direction. If it goes astray, darkness will come again. A crystal shines within every heart. Everyone is special and unique. Every last one of you. A crystal gleams within your heart too. For you are the one who fought the battle spanning 2,000 years. And you guys watched me do it. It was awesome, wasn't it? It was an epic journey. May the world be blessed with light for eternity. And the birds! And that's it guys, that's Final Fantasy 1. Oh, it's been a lot of fun playing this. 
Oh, there's, uh, well, we saw the bridge earlier. This is Provoka. I do remember the names of all these cities for some strange reason. They were different. Uh, this is the Elven City Castle. Oh, the Elven Prince is awake. Nice. How, how, was your, how was your sleep, dude? Oh, and then this is, um, that was the, uh, place where Astos was. I forgot the name of it. Oh, and we get to talk to the, the, the golem there that ate our ruby. I could have sold that. I needed the money. I don't need more. Can I travel back in time and give myself some money? I would have helped out. Oh, there's the desert caravan. Apparently he has a new apprentice or a customer or something like that. And all the mermaids have come to shore. My dreams have finally come true. They don't seem to be wearing tops. But back in Cornelia. Oh, Princess Sarah is rocking the loop. Nice. Of course, we have to thank the remake staff. Yes. Oh, their names get scrolled epically slow so that I have time to pronounce them horribly. Yusuke Hirata. Kiyomi Tanakawa. Katsuyoshi. Kawahara Kazuhiko Yoshioka These guys have got some great names Great Japanese names Koji Wakasono Mitsuhiro Yamada Satoshi Sumida Yutaka Mayakawa Rumiko Sawada Uh, yeah, notice how it only says movie designers. That's because it's only that opening cutscene. But it was a great opening cutscene, don't get me wrong. Movie programmer. Ryoto Iwanaka. Original music composed by the great, the only, Nobuo Uematsu. That guy's awesome. He's in, he's in a lot of the early Final Fantasies. You'll learn to love his music. You will. If you, if you haven't already fallen in love with it, you will. You will. Tomohiko Tanabe, Hideki Amori, Reiko Kondo, Akihito Shoji, Hiranoi Akiyama, Miri Ito, Production Assistant, Miki Akakura. Oh wow, look at that. That is a nice picture of uh, Garland there. I assume that's Garland. You know, there's nobody else that's supposed to look like that in the game. I assume that's the, the first time that we see him. He looks pretty good there. Should have integrated that into, into the game somehow. Instead of just in the credits. Tomoko Sakei. Kazuyoshi. Tashiro, Amanda, Yuji Shibata. See, now I love that one right there. That little pose right there. It's very defiant. Yeah, I like that one. Jennifer, okay. David, Carrillo. Okay, yeah, who the hell are these people? These aren't Japanese at all. Mohammed Wright, Aaron Adams, Jonathan Cooperson? Where, what happened to the Japanese names? Come on now. Uh oh. The music picked up. That means we're, we're near the end. We see the crystal. Can't go on much longer than this. President and CEO of Square Electronics, Jun Iwasaki. Special thanks to me, because I did it. It was awesome. Mika Okada. Uh, usually I, I, I do, like, a little review. I kind of want to do it for this one, but, I don't know, it's kind of a weird, weird game to review. I mean, it launched the franchise, you know what I mean? It launched Final Fantasy, and they've made, what, 13 main titles along with... I don't even know how many side titles. I mean, 
The game itself is fun, frustrating, and kind of annoying, but at the same time, for when it came out, it was a great game. It just doesn't hold up as well as I would think, um, considering where the franchise has gone since then. But it's a lot of fun to play. If, you, if you've never done it, I suggest that you do uh, at least give it a shot. And that's the end. Nice. Can I do anything? Oh, uh, yep. Takes me back to the main menu. Oh! Game completed. Save current data? I didn't even know. What does that mean? Contents of the collections. Load completed games. That retains all the collections? No way. Sure. I'll save it. Why not? Let's see. What's my oldest one? This one here. So, apparently they have a new game plus feature in this game. Um, I probably would not recommend that you do that because it would... Well, I mean, if you want to breeze through the game, feel free, but, you know, if you want to actually take on the challenge, I wouldn't do that. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play of Final Fantasy 1. Stay tuned. I will be doing Final Fantasy 2. I'll probably give myself about a week off. Uh, I need to catch up on some uh, real-life projects that I'm doing. Uh, before I can actually start that one, but I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed all these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>